Hey guys, welcome to another Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to try the Celeste Pizza for one. This is the deluxe pizza with sausage, green and red peppers and mushrooms. Um, the sausage is made with pork and chicken. Uh, microwavable. Uh, let's see where all the goods are. Let's be on the back. Uh, there's the calorie information. 340 calories for a pizza. That's not too awfully bad. Um, everything else is not too awfully bad. All the, the fat grams are a little high, but um, the sodium is higher than you would want, but it's not too awfully bad. There's the ingredients if you want to see those. So we can do this in either the conventional oven or, like always, we do it in the microwave. Uh, True Cook Plus. So I wonder what that is. It must be some kind of new microwave where you punch a number in and it automatically cooks it perfectly or something. I don't know what that is. Um, okay, last time I went in the middle. This time I'm actually going to go on the low side. I'm going to actually do it for just three minutes. So we're going to take this out. Uh, remove the plastic wrap, uh, put it on the center disc on a plate, which I'll use a paper plate, just like I would at work. Um, and then um, make sure you remove it with pot holders because it's going to be hot. So I'm going to go three minutes because last time um, we I overcooked it and it was a little hard around the edges. So this time I'm going to go right on the low side and we'll see how that works. I also remember that box being hard to open, so I went ahead and opened it, and here it is before I'm putting it in the microwave. So this is the plastic package. Those are your metal disc, your browning tray. Um, so I'm going to get this on a paper plate and put it in the microwave for three minutes, and I'll be back. Okay, here's the pizza straight out of the microwave. Uh, I'll probably use a pizza cutter uh, to cut this. I'm not sure how easy it'll be to, to cut it if you're at work with a fork or a knife, I mean. Um, crust is a little crispy so you might have a hard time cutting it with a knife i'm not sure but it looks really good i don't know how focused i can get on it um it did dry out a little bit on the edges but not as bad as it did the first one i ate so this one um this one definitely on the low end in my microwave at home at least um so try it out on the low side and i guess if that's not enough for you, you may have to go up from there but i would definitely try it out on the low side first although it wasn't bad when it was a little crispy it was just drier um, this one looks like the cheese really, really ran on it bad, and I still don't see a lot of sauce. So let me cut this up, and um, and then I'll let you know what it tastes like. Okay, I've got it cut up, and you can kind of see. I got it cut up in just little uh, triangles. Um, it would have been hard to cut with a knife at work. It really would have been. It's um, it's a little crispier than a knife can handle. I mean, you could do it definitely, but it might be easier if you bring a. Uh, um, a pizza cutter or just know that you can't cut it into small pieces like this. So anyway, this is the piece I'm going to try. It's got some meat on it, some peppers and some cheese, things like that. It has a really good flavor. The only problem with it is, is the cheese has like a I don't know, it's cheese is normally gooey and, and kind of, you know, thick and stuff. This one, this cheese is kind of, um, for lack of a better word, slimy, I guess. No, it's really still not. It's, it's runnier than a regular cheese would be. It's like, um, it's oily, I guess, maybe is a better word for it. It's an oily cheese, um, which is strange. And you can see when I showed the picture of it, the cheese kind of ran everywhere, um, it's like they were trying to they put something in it to make it um, spread out better on the pizza and it makes it kind of uh, a runnier uh, consistency. So the flavor is good. Um, I actually think I like the other, the pepperoni one better uh, for flavor wise. This one is okay. This one, um, you know, it's not bad by any means, but it's, um, it's not as good as the other one. I probably would not get this one again. Um, I would probably give this one, I'd give it a three. I wouldn't intentionally go buy it, but I would eat it if I had them. Um, yeah, it's not horrible, but yeah, I wouldn't buy it again. Um, again, if you like deluxe pizzas with sausage and stuff, you may want to give it a shot. And you might really like it. But for me, the flavor is just not there for the amount of calories you get. And uh, they're only a dollar. We got these for a dollar at Walmart. So it really is a cheap lunch. So if you're looking for a, a, um, a pizza meal that has a little bit of that sausagey flavor that uh, is pretty cheap, then, uh, then you might want to try this out. So thanks for watching. This is a follow-up. I ate it all, and it was it's okay. Um, there's what I mean about the cheese. See how it's kind of um, it's really kind of runny. I don't know if that's because whatever tomato sauce they have in the sauce and the cheese kind of ran together. But you can see it's really uh, it's really kind of 
kind of runny and squishy. Um, that's the cheese consistency you get on the pizza. Um, there is no real sauce to be to be had. I mean, you don't see any real tomato sauce around the edges. So I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know what to think about it. It's, it's just weird. I don't know if it's if they're meant to be that way or if it's just that's how they have to be to keep the cost down or what. But there's really this is the consistency of 99% of the cheese was like that. That's that kind of runny, um, squishy consistency. Um, I didn't have that with the last one, but then again, the other one I really microwaved almost too long and all the cheese had hardened up to uh, crisp crust, kind of like uh, what you see on the edges here. Uh, maybe that's how the cheese is supposed to be. Maybe you're supposed to microwave it that long to get up, to get it, seeing how runny some of this is. Um, maybe you're supposed to crisp it up to where the cheese is almost hard you know I, I just don't know so um next time i might put in a little bit longer than i did this time uh, maybe just by like 10 seconds or so just see if that makes any difference at all um it shouldn't be this experimental though you should be able to put it in the microwave and get a pretty good outcome so anyway that's my follow-up